So if you found your paint looking like it's been sitting in the Florida sun for five years after the most recent update, it's because of the blue channel. Oh, not that blue. But we're going to talk about how to fix this today and some other tips and tricks. So let's get started. Hey guys, XJ here. So today we're going to talk about this new blue channel inside of the templates for uh, all you painters out there in iRacing. Now, on the screen, I've got an example of probably what your car is going to look like if you uh, have not changed anything yet at this point. You can see it's all dulled out, um, not very pretty, and some of these can look really ugly um, just depending on what's been going on. So let's talk about the new problem. The problem is this blue channel inside of the custom spec map. Right, um, this one right here. Now, this channel's been here for quite some time, but it's been of no use. However, uh, iRacing has activated it as of season one for 2023. And what that's done is create a lot of problems for painters because it's resulted in this. Now, why iRacing could have just, just didn't do this quick fix right here that I'm going to show you how to take care of this instead of doing it this way, I have no idea. But um, if you're just trying to look, go back to the way it was it's really easy you're going to come down here uh, make sure your spec maps highlighted um, go to your blue channel and where it is all white you need to make this black okay so let's um let's take care of that uh, color overlay is going to be the easiest way to get this done um, go ahead change let's move this whoops can i move that over here yep so you guys can see it so color overlay click the color take it to black and i mean zero black okay so they're calling this kind of a a clear coat this takes that clear coat completely away um again blue channel and this could look different with some of the templates that you've got out there others it might already be a folder um, but some it's just uh, the, the one layer here so just look down there you'll see it okay or you can download the new template but it doesn't always change it uh, let's go ahead and save that spec map and I will show you that it is now back to the way it should be boom and there we go and now you've got Whatever you had set up with your other channels in red and green, it should come back here now. You've got your normal iRacing sheen on here. One word of note, Chrome does look different now with the new one. So that's you can't fix that. You're just going to have to learn how to, to enjoy the looks of the new Chrome. Let's get into some tips and tricks of what you can do with this blue channel now that are pretty cool and gives you one more feature that you can play with. Okay, so let's talk about how you can use that blue channel uh, to enhance your paints. Now, for those of you who have watched my other uh, videos in regard to paint setting up templates, um, and if you haven't, uh, links above, I highly recommend you watch that. You'll know that I like to separate out um, my paint from my stickers in order to make them pop. Uh, when it comes to how they are on the car and again you can tell here uh, the stickers as far as the monster um, logos that are on here do not have the same sheen as you can tell as the uh, base paint with the black there you can see the difference uh, try to catch a highlight all uh, right well let's see can i catch that highlight well you can kind of see it right there no 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 okay okay where's the can I, can I get a highlight can i get a highlight there it is okay so right here you can see that the paint has a sheen to it it's quite shiny whereas the sticker that looks like it is on top of it and that's i just i think it makes the paints look better uh to say the least also you can tell uh the carbon fiber as far as the top uh does not have the same sheen as the base paint with the black on this car right you can you can see that see the shine and you can see there's no shine here now this new channel that we've got with the blue channel allows you to even separate these things that much more and we're gonna i'm gonna show you some examples 
Okay, so let's go over here and take a look at the new blue channel inside of the template. Now, this is going to look different um, depending on the templates you have downloaded from iRacing. They have not, I thought they standardized all of them, but they did not. Let me give you an example. Here's the old template um, for the Toyota, and it just has blue, and you'll see just this, this one file. Um, when you download the new one, it has not changed at all, okay? Disregard the overlay, I did that, but it's the exact same. Others you're going to see have a folder built in here. So just note that if it's blue, that's the channel that deals with the clear coat. Now, here's one more tip when it comes to this blue channel. If you're running into problems, some of the old ones, if you look on this and double click, you're going to see the channels are red, green, and blue. It only needs to be the blue channel. So let's get rid of these other two because they are dealt with in the red channel and the green channel in order to produce the results that you desire inside the spec map. So if you're running into problems, if you're, if you're doing all the things and, and they should be going right, but something's going horribly wrong when you engage that blue channel, check this, guys, um, and make sure that it is only the channels is only selected for blue. Now, granted, it shouldn't matter because you've got the red and the green channels above, but just, just check it. And again, it's a tip. I know it's, it's out there causing some issues with some of the templates, okay? So quick resolve. All right, back to what we're doing now. So how I'm setting up my folders inside of my spec map now. I still have obviously my red channel. Red channel has um, the numbers, the stickers, the stripes, the carbon uh, fiber that's in the, the paint, and then the base paint is how I divide them out. Now you can do this any way you want. Again, refer to the video that I uh, mentioned earlier. If you're not familiar with how to do these things, I'll talk to you about how you can set these up for yourself. So I've got that set up for all of the channels, obviously the green, and then now all obviously the blue. And again, what does that allow us to do? It allows us to really start to separate um, what, what the look that we're going for. And of course, my look, like I said, I like to have the stickers stand out from the base paint. Now with this blue channel added in, we can add a sheen over those stickers. So where before it was a bit dull uh, in order to kind of get it to give this sticker look. And additionally, if you did, if, if sometimes the whites could come out looking a bit more gray, okay, um, now we can avoid that problem and also give the stickers a bit more of a sheen so it'll allow them to pop uh, a little more. Another example here, because this is a great car for um, this, this tutorial, the carbon fiber. Carbon fiber, to me, always, I never could get it quite the way I wanted it without going into a lot of detail. Sometimes you can separate out um, you know, the, the red and the green for the, the checks, but it's a lot of work and, and sometimes just not worth the effort. Never could get it. Well, now... Um, I like the, the dullness of my carbon fiber, but now I can give it a little bit more sheen to give it a carbon fiber look. So let's look at how I'm going to accomplish that. Again, blue channel, everything's divided out. What you need to remember about this blue channel is this. So we'll, we'll go to the stickers at first. The color overlay and the blacks that we use here if it's a zero black, actually, if it's zero to, I believe it's 15, maybe 14. So zero to 14 is going to give you the original no clear coat look for my racing. All right. But to be safe, if you're looking for no clear coat at all, put it to zero, like I said before, and you're done. Now, if we're talking about levels of clear coat, it's going to run from, 15 to, you know, all the way the max white on this one at 100%. The higher you go on this scale, the more toward white that you go, the duller the, um, the clear coat will be. Anything in between here, hey, it's up to you and what you want to do. And again, 
if you separate um, you know, your numbers, your stickers, your stripes, whatever you have, if the more you separate them into folders, the more control you have over each of those individual items on your car. So let's give an example with what I've done here. Okay, so I'm trying to get this car at a good angle so you can really see the differences when it pops. Now, what I've done is I've gone in, again, to the blue channel, separated them out, like I've done my red and green previously, and I've uh, changed the numbers. We'll talk about the numbers in a minute. But uh, in the past, for the, for the blue channel, this is what I would get as far as, you know, as close as I could get to what I wanted. Now, I can separate out each of these. So what I've done is give the... Uh, carbon fiber, a little bit more shine, uh, gave a little shine to the stickers, but still want them to look like a sticker and then uh, popped out the base coat just a bit more. It really gives a nice look like this. So I'm sure you can see the differences and we've got a real, we've got a, a, a light sheen over the carbon fiber now, but it's still muted, uh, still a bit matte. Um, if, and we've got a, a high gloss as far as on the paint, um, that you can see kind of, you know, right in here as far as the paint and the stickers have a really nice look now, in my opinion, um, that you can control. If you look here at this monster sticker that's on the car, it's now it's really looking like vinyl. Okay. In my opinion, we were close before, but now it's really got that vinyl look to it. Um, in my opinion, to make it stand off. Uh, and, and look like a wrap. So the blue channel definitely provides more options um, to for for you detailed painters out there in regard to you know hey how you can break this out and what you can do with it. Um, I do like it. The only thing I don't like is the fact that I racing instead of you know making it white. Um, if they would have just made the channel black. It would have avoided all the problems that, that a lot of people are facing right now because there's a lot of painters on trading paints that have to update every single paint um, as a result. So our racing did cause a bit of a headache there, but hey, you know, it's how the how the channel works. It is what it is. But I would tell you again, go into your templates, you know, create your blue channel. Um, if again, if you're following how I've instructed in the past, just create a new blue channel. OK, uh, folder, go to your green um, copy, paste it here, rename it blue channel um, and then on here, double click that blue channel and make sure that your blue only is selected. So when you do that, if you just copy off the green and name it blue channel, you're still going to have no, the, you're not going to get the results that you're looking for because this green channel is still going to be selected. So you need to select the blue channel. Uh, in doing that, and then you can start to play with the numbers here. Now, to give you examples as far as there and what I was working with, that base paint sheen, uh, working with about a 20 uh, as far as um, pretty high sheen. Again, um, highest is going to be in that you know 16 area uh, when it comes to sheen. Uh, the carbon fiber that I had on the car, I think it was 35. Whoops, didn't mean to select satin. Um, it was a 30 as far as that sheen goes. Um, and then the stickers was maybe 40. I can't remember what it was. 50. Okay. So 50, um, which is again, starting to go toward the dull side um, of the spectrum. But me personally, I, I think it's brilliant. Um, and I think it adds a lot of options um, for the painters out there. Okay, now I want to talk about the chrome and kind of the changes that it did uh, to that. So let's let's make this a chrome. Uh, I'm going to go to my base and uh, just 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 change it to white. Boom, there it is. Um, of course, this car is probably going to be quite ugly, but we'll 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 be okay. We'll deal with it, guys. Okay. Um, let's uh, go up here. Let's can we turn the numbers on? We're going to save it. <clears throat> Move to the folders. Let me do this first. Move to the folders. There we go. 
Okay, and now we've got a white on here, and we're going to make that chrome. How do we do that? Well, in the past, we would just go up here to the uh, red channel, uh, base paint. Let's change it all the way up. Let's make it just, you know, obnoxious chrome. Um, at 99, 95 as much as I can get. I can't, I can't go. Okay, we'll, we'll do it. All right, we'll, we'll go full on obnoxious chrome all the way. Um, then we're going to close that out. We're going to open up the green, open up, open up the green channel and we'll change this one all the way down to nothingness. So there's no roughness at all. Therefore, it's all chrome. And now let's uh, take care of that blue channel um, with the base paints and make it a high shine chrome, which 16 is going to be your number. Now, turn off the numbers and save it. Spec. Yep. Done, done. Move it over here before I change so we can see the gaudiness that results in it. Oops. There we go. And bingo. Okay. Now, this is the new Chrome. Before, when we had those numbers in there, um, it would be like Mirror Chrome, if you will remember. Now, I think it looks more like a true Chrome, in, in my opinion. I think it looks really good. Um, you know, it's, it's, um, it's not obnoxious <laughs> like, it, like it was before. I wasn't a big fan of the Mirror Chrome. I'm a fan of this um, in regard to, to the changes. Now, uh, I do have a little bit of clear coat on this one, and I'm sure you're asking, well, what happens if you change it to the original um, with no clear coat whatsoever? And I'll do that and show you that it's not really going to make um, that much of a difference. It's not going to send it back to what it looked like uh, before the update. Yeah, if that's what you're wondering. And to prove that, we'll do this here. Back on the screen before I hit change and change. And you can see, and I'll even delete the old MIP out just to let it refresh. You can see that it's not that same mirror chrome that, um, that you had before uh, the update. Um, I, again, I think this looks good. Um, I don't, I don't like this. I don't, I, I like it with the clear coat on it. Um, this is, this is fine. Um, but it starts to look a little more like tin foil to me. Um, but, um, it's, it's got a, it's got a nice sheen to it when you go back in here and put, like I said, that, that was kind of a high sheen that we, we did there. If we do something, uh, like more along the lines of what we've got on the paint um, when in regard to a sheen and then check that one. I'll show you how that looks. Again, I think it's all much better than it was previously. And replace and move the MIP, let it reset, and there you go. So it's just, it's, it's got a better look. Okay. Um, I think it looks a lot more like Chrome than it did in the past. So there you go, guys. That's it. Um, good luck to you out there. If you have any questions, please just drop them below in the, the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and ensure that you like this video as it really helps the channel out a lot. Until next time, this is XJ. We'll see you on the track.